Okay guys, this is going to be a really quick and perhaps boring, but hopefully useful <laughs> video. I uh, crafted this essay today. It's a made up question. It could possibly come up. I reviewed the questions. A question specifically about Kai Jing hasn't come up yet. So it's a possibility and with world literature, Cambridge, anything goes. So the question I've made up is how does Tan poignantly portray the relationship between Lu Ling and Kai Jing. So let's have a look at a standard five paragraph essay with an introduction, three main body paragraphs and a conclusion. Everything in red is reference to the question, blue is the quotation and in, hopefully you can see it, I've put in bold in black any sort of subject terms. So let's take a read. Throughout the novel, Tan poignantly portrays the profound love between Lu Ling and Kai Jing, showcasing its transformative effect on Lu Ling. Kai Jing, Lu Ling's first husband, enters her life at an orphanage, guiding her to discover her inner strength. Kind and understanding, Kai Jing comforts Lu Ling's fears, but their love is tragically interrupted by his capture and execution by Japanese soldiers, leaving Lu Ling devastated and contemplating suicide. Tan achieves this and more through the use of juxtaposition, emotive language and symbolism. Firstly, Tan poignantly portrays the relationship between Lu Ling and Kai Jing as marred by Lu Ling's self-doubt. She believes she has too many flaws for anyone to love her authentically. Lu Ling muses that the only fault Kai Jing has is his foolishness in loving her. Tan's effective use of juxtaposition here is particularly revealing, highlighting the stark contrast between Kai Jing's affection and Lu Ling's perception of herself. Additionally, the choice of the abstract noun foolishness creates a self-deprecating tone, emphasising Lu Ling's tendency to doubt her own worth, a theme that persists throughout the entire novel. As the novel progresses, we get to see their relationship blossom and eventually they marry, transforming Lu Ling's life for the better. Tan characterizes Kai Jing as someone who profoundly impacts Lu Ling's being, the way she thinks, her outlook on life, how she perceives the world around her, and so much more. During a conversation with Lu Ling, when she muses yet again about curses and her worry of bones never being returned, Kai Jing reassures her that there are no such things as curses. Tan's use of the declarative illustrates Kai Jing's efforts to reason with Lu Ling and alleviate her anxiety, preventing her from perpetually blaming herself for precious auntie's death. Kai Jing's simple yet direct language conveys a strong desire to positively impact Lu Ling's life. Main body paragraph two. However, Lu Ling's life takes a tragic turn when her husband is captured by Japanese soldiers, leaving him missing, thus poignantly betraying her unwavering love for him. During his absence, Lu Ling grows thin and that Gao Ling forces her to eat. This illustrates Lu Ling's crippling grief as she fears the worst, impacting her both physically and mentally. The monosyllabic structure of these sentences serve to emphasise the emotional turmoil she faces, enveloping her inescapable feeling of despair. After Kai Jing, who appears a shadow of his former self, is briefly reunited with Lu Ling, he is soon mercilessly executed. Tan portrays Lu Ling as being at a loss of what to do other than retreat into her own memory, which she describes as a safe place. And she repeats a line spoken to her, we are divine unchanged by time. Tan's poignant use of emotive language vividly illustrates how these words, originally spoken by Kai Jing, are wretched deeply into Lu Ling's consciousness. As she reflects, she realizes that although Kai Jing's life has tragically ended, the love they share will transcend the limits of her own existence. With profound gratitude, Lu Ling acknowledges the enduring impact he has had on her life, a sentiment that will remain in her heart forever. Next main body paragraph. Despite the hardships Lu Ling faces, she finds the strength to recognise that her life still holds hope and that the confidence Kai Jing instilled in her should endure. Tan betrays her as emotionally resilient in the face of adversity, which makes the relationship she had with Kai Jing even more poignant. Lu Ling believes herself that there is hope that she can find happiness that is hidden from her. 
Tan's use of symbolism here is particularly heart-wrenching for the reader and underscores Lu Ling's determination to live her life and to live it well, just as Kai Jing would have wanted. The fact that she believes such happiness is hidden suggests that Lu Ling momentarily sinks into self-doubt yet again, but her resilience enables her to realise that she deserves happiness, despite losing the person who transformed her life for the better. This is cemented in the opening of the novel before the narrative unfolds as Luling speaks her truth, expressing the most vulnerable parts of her life and how they have shaped the person who she is today. Luling asserts that each time she loves something with a special egg, she put it in her trunk of best things, alluding to her precious memories with Kai Jing, which symbolizes how the trunk serves as a safe place to store these cherished moments. Her reluctance to let go of items that have had such a profound impact on her life poignantly betrays the depth of her love for Kai Jing. Taking everything into account, Tan poignantly betrays the relationship between Lu Ling and Kai Jing through the depiction of their transformative love. Despite Lu Ling's initial self-doubt and the eventual tragedy of Kai Jing's death, their bond profoundly impacts her life, instilling strength and resilience. Through careful character development and the use of emotive language, Tan illustrates how Kai Jing's love endures in Lu Ling's heart, providing her with hope and the courage to persevere. This enduring love, encapsulated in Lu Ling's treasured memories, poignantly underscores the depth and lasting influence of their relationship.